Hi everyone, this is part two of the day trading strategy video series. In this video, we're only going to look at shorts and we're looking at five minute charts and only focusing on price, volume, and moving average. I'll show you when to short the stock and also when to cover the trade. And we're only going to focus on stocks that are gapping down in early trading. So let's go ahead and look at the first chart. Um, it's a chart of TDC and here um, is a five minute chart and we see a gap down here in early trading it's a five minute candle and you want to short the stock as soon as it breaks the low of the first five minute candle which is around here so price breaks below that first candle you short the stock at this level here and you hold on to it until it breaks above the 20 day moving average, which is around here at this level. And that's when you want to cover the trade. And you're looking at around a 1.3% return. So the next chart is HII. And again, here's a gap down. And you want to short the stock here at this level because it breaks the low of the first five minute candle and you cover the trade at around here at 118 for almost a 2% gain. And the next chart, KBYW. And in this case, price never breaks below the first candle. So there's nothing to trade here. And again, next chart, AVID. And same situation here. Uh, there's nothing to short because price never breaks below the first five minute candle. Okay, and the next chart, MNST. Um, and here's a, a nice gap down. Um, and here's where price breaks below the first candle at 131.65. And so you wanna, hold, you wanna short the stock there and hold on to it until it breaks above the 20 day moving average. In this case, it's almost a 1% return. Uh, nothing spectacular. Um, and then next chart is BR. This one's a little better. Um, here it breaks below. Short the stock there, cover here for almost a 4% return. So in some cases you're gonna break even, in some cases you're gonna uh, lose some money and in other cases, you're going to do really well, like in this case, um, it's almost a 4% a return. And last chart here, CERN. And also in this case, uh, the strategy doesn't work too well, but you're keeping losses at a minimum because you're getting out as soon as price breaks above the 20-day moving average. And here you're about breaking even. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you.